Before we get into the video guys, are you in need of a new controller? If so, why not go custom? Controller Mods is the place for you no matter the platform you play on. Thousands of design combinations, ultimate build quality, revolutionary back paddle system and all round epicness. Here is my most recent and I'm in love with it people. So yeah guys, check out the website linked within the video description if you want to build your own custom controller. So over the past week or so I have covered certain non-legendary weapons which hold their own against said legendaries to a point of much of the time being even better weapons. Today I bring you another common weapon which has now taken the place of my recently nerfed Cutsman. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands every week. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So I am seeing many weapon reviews all over YouTube where people are concentrating on reviewing legendaries because they think that these are the go-to weapons within Borderlands. I mean, I agree to some degree that indeed that should be the case, but in my opinion it certainly isn't. I've covered many weapons over the past week or so which have either been rares or epics which have offered just what legendaries offer and sometimes even more. Now the recent hotfix saw a hefty nerf hit the Cutsman, reducing its damage by 25%. Now the Cutsman for me has always been my go-to SMG. The damage it deals is monstrous and to be honest, it's still quite a beast. And I'm a fan of Maliban weapons anyway and I'm probably a little biased here. But even so, I'm pretty sure many of you out there who have gotten hold of a Cutsman will also agree that it's a very good weapon indeed, even after its nerf. The Cutsman comes in multiple variants too and I myself do have multiple variants of it. Now me being a person that checks every weapon no matter the rarity, I came across a world drop SMG called the Nebula. Noticing those distinctive blades attached to the front of the weapon, I always thought of this as a low budget Cutsman. A weapon for those lower level guys to use until they find a Cutsman. That's how I thought of this weapon. So I really paid no true interest in it within those early days of actually having my Cutsman. Since I've taken more notice of rare and epic weapons now though, I was actually on the lookout for this weapon to give it a chance. I found this version called the Eviscerating Sublime Nebula. And luckily for me, it was a 92 Zane. While Digiclone is active, regen 12% of magazine ammo per second. This version also has a plus 35% weapon charge speed, plus 75% splash damage radius, plus 60% melee damage, plus 65% projectile speed, with 1.7% weapon zoom. But what's also amazing about this weapon is you can switch between shot damage and radiation damage. Now I won't sit here and tell you guys this is more powerful than the Cutsman. Even with that 25% damage nerf to the Cutsman, it's still insanely powerful and without doubt more powerful than this. But using the Cutsman and using this, they feel miles apart. This fires quicker, travels to those enemies quicker, doesn't need a certain range before projectiles come into true effect, has a crazy blast radius, has a bigger magazine, has a faster fire rate, has a faster charge time and can switch between two elements which when using and comparing it actually makes for the better weapon in way more scenarios this game offers. I also love the fact that certain weapons can switch elements on the go and with the firepower behind said weapons like this one offers it's great for a few reasons but mainly it frees up space within your loadout for other weapons. Now a lot of people including myself base loadouts trying to build them with every option at hand. Maybe a weapon for each element, a build around a certain setup, definitely an element for every weapon available at hand. But usually a build would vary trying to maximise efficiency based around as many elements as you can fit in. For instance, a setup wise I'd normally go for would be something like this you can see on screen now, where I fit in as many elements into my build as possible. But having a weapon which is this efficient, which can also switch between elements, makes things a whole lot easier as you can then in reality have a spare slot to slot home anything you choose, maybe an extra element you pay with your build which takes advantage of a said certain element, i.e. Zane and Cryo. And that's really the point of this video people. Not only is this variant of the Nebula a great all round weapon, perfect for Zane and many builds possible with him, also the fact it can save much needed inventory loadout space for other items. 
But the true point of the video is the point of this being a rare blue item, which in reality is doing things for our builds normally we'd only expect from legendaries, which is utterly crazy people. So yeah, this blue rare nebula is definitely now 100% a part of my loadout. I carry it with me everywhere I go. And I'm actually hoping to find another variant which offers two different elements because that would be absolutely amazing guys. So this nebula is a monstrous weapon. It's now taken the place of my cutsman and has also freed up a bit of space within my loadout. What more can you ask for? So guys, check those weapons no matter the rarity type as you never know what you might come across. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.